What a stack championship final we have for you this evening. Haley Flickin are your top seed this morning, 207.75. She's been third fastest in the world so far this year at a 206.67 when she swam at the Chicago Tim Pro Swim Series. Flickin her in lane number four, right next to her, Charlotte Hook. Second fastest time this morning, 209.51 for Hood. She has been a 207.87, good for fifth fastest, 18 and other under in American history. But it's flicking her at a 28.57, declaring her intentions early. Second was Lindsay Looney, and then a three-way tie for third place between Carter, Sticklin, and Smith. Flickener looking incredibly strong right off the bat. That 205.85 U.S. Open record, hers from Olympic trials just under a year ago. She's out in a 1.0017 just off of her U.S. Open record pace. Flickener's personal best time, 205.65 fastest in the field. Here comes Reagan Smith, however, 101.16 for her. Almost a full second off of Flickener's lead pace. As was expected, Haley Flickener and Reagan Smith holding the lead as we hit the final 50. Do we have a challenge though in lane number one from Lindsay Looney? Looney right now in third place, 135.00 for her, only seven tenths of a second behind Reagan Smith. Final 50 meters, here comes Reagan Smith. Down. Flickener was right on that U.S. Open record pace, continuing to look strong as she hits the final few strokes here. Haley Flickener will win it in a 2.06.35. Second place, Reagan Smith with a 2.07.93. Four of the top 11 performers in American history assembled in this field. Led by Orlando's 153.84 personal best time, which ranks him number three all time in this event. And there's Julian through the first 50 with a 25.13, followed by Colson at 25.5, and Kalish as well, 25.5. Julian, part of USA Swimming's short course meter world championship team in Abu Dhabi 2021, where he was a finalist in the 200 meter butterfly, taking fourth place overall. 53.5 on the opening 100 from Julian. He was 54.0 this morning as he turned in a best time. That is faster than Phelps's US Open record split of 53.7 at the 100. The U.S. Open record recognizes the fastest time ever performed in American waters. And Trenton Julian in control through the 150, throws down a 29-4 and a 122-9 with 50 to go. Still under U.S. Open record pace. The race for second, it's Orlando of Dart, another Californian, making the charge ahead of Zach Harding. Orlando is closing. Julian is tightening up, and here comes Luca Orlando from lane six. Orlando with the best time of 53.8. The touch goes to Orlando. 154.10. Luca Orlando wins the trip to Budapest this summer to represent Team USA at the World Championships. Julian second with a 54.22. Followed by Zach Harding at 55.09 and Kalish with a 56.03.
down and back. That's that women's 100 meter freestyle championship final on the way. We've got to make some relays out of these swims. An early lead looks like it might be in lane number two, Abby Weitzel, two time world champion. All sorts of hardware to her name. And what has been an incredible career for the 25 year old California Aquatics. She's in the lead 25 34. Second is Hines by one one hundredth of a second. Hines out in the 25 35, looking very strong. Hines, the only sub 54 swim this morning. 25 48 for Curtis and 25 77 for Husk. Literally anybody's race. Final 15 meters here in the women's 100 freestyle. Who's going to get their hands on the wall first? Look at Erica Brown in lane seven. It's Tori Husk 53 35 winning the 100 freestyle. Second place, Claire Cruzan on the 53 58. Third place, Erica Brown, 53-59. And Natalie Hines in fourth with a 53-65. An absolute down to the wire, 100 freestyle championship final. And automatically earning their spot on the world championship team, Natalie Hines, Erica Brown, Claire Curza, and your 100 freestyle champion with a 53-35 from Stanford. That's Tori Husk winning and making up our 400 freestyle world championship relay. jumping out to that quick advantage with that patented blazing start with held keeping pace through the first 50. 22-6 from Dressel, 22-8 from Held, and then it's Brooks Curry out of Louisiana State in lane six. Kibler with a good breakout out of the turn, gets up to the hip of Dressel. Even field here as we look to determine the men's relay. Lane six, now Brooks Curry with a close. Dressel initiates the closing sequence out of lane four and gets to the wall with a 47.79. Now the top performer in the world for 2022. Second, Brooks Curry with a 48.04. Third goes to Ryan Held at 48.18. And a tie for fourth, Drew Kibler and Hunter Armstrong both at 48.25. Time world champion Katie Ledecky is in lane at number four. She is the American and world record holder and currently the owner of the fastest time in the world so far at an 8.11.83. Right off the bat, she takes over the lead. Katie Grimes right now, your open water national champion. Just a few weeks ago, she won the 10K 
and then went on to win the Junior National 7.5K. A year after winning the Junior National 5K. So distance runs deep for Grimes. Of course, Grimes, an incredibly exciting second place finish at Olympic Trials in Omaha. And then fourth in this event at the Olympic Games as a 15-year-old. 100 meters in, 57.89 for Ledecky. And she's getting out and getting out fast. 59.01 for Katie Grimes. Grimes the second fastest in that first hundred, also the second fastest 15 and 16 year old of all time, pursuing the GOAT in Kate Ledecky, that time a 8.13.86, Grimes second all time at an 8.17.05. And 50 meters down, 128.05. Leah Smith now moving up into second place, 130.1. Grimes now in third, 130.4. And then Bella Sims, the fifth fastest 15, 16, 800 freestyler in history, or in American history, is in fourth place. Sandpipers of Nevada synonymous with distance swimming. And in this Top seeded 800 free. We have three Sandpipers in the field. Ledecky, 159.42, and it's not too early to point out that she is about eight tenths of a second under her own world record pace. We'll see how that shapes up. It's a long race, and a lot could change for sure. Leah Smith also looking strong, continuing to sit in second with that 201.39. Now six tenths of a second between her and Katie Grimes. It is worth noting, Katie Ledecky, the past few meets that we've gotten to see her tier pro stops in San Antonio and in Chicago has been just absolutely dynamite on the back half of her distance races. Could we have something cooking this evening? We'll keep an eye closely as we go. 300 meter mark, Ledecky sitting right at about seven tenths under her own world record. 30076 for her. Leah Smith 30392. Smith's personal best is an 81633. And right now she's definitely trending close to that time. These ladies both looking very strong. Don't count out Grimes and Sims. The Sandpipers known for their ability to come back late and make up big deficits when needed. But right now it is all Katie Ledecky. So here comes Katie Ledecky, 15 meters before we hit the halfway mark, and that's where things really start to get serious in this race. Legs start burning, lungs start aching, and you just gotta keep pushing through, but she is pushing through 401.98 for Katie Ledecky. That's an amazing 400 freestyle in its own right. Smith at a 406.67, not shabby either. And Claire Weinstein, the other Sandpiper of Nevada, one of three, now taking the lead amongst the Sandpipers in the third place. So you got Sandpipers of Nevada right now in third, fourth, and fifth. But it's Katie Ledecky at the 450 meter mark. Ledecky approaching her final 300 meters. Let's check in right where she stands. She's definitely under U.S. Open record pace. She's a little bit over that world record pace, but still within striking distance, especially given how strong she's been in the back half of races recently. Four tenths of a second. Leah Smith at a 509.28. Katie Grimes now starting to make her move but still being outsplit by both Ledecky and Smith. Ooh. 
Ledecky still right there, about 250 meters to go. Right now, Ledecky trending right at about that 805 to 806 range, which would be good for one of the top five fastest swims in history. She's a second over, 200 meters to go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get behind Katie Ledecky, your leader, as she fights for that US Open record right now. And who knows, training with Bobby Fink could pay off here as we hit the final 150, 175 meters of the women's 800 freestyle. Leah Smith is absolutely flying as well. Great swims all around right now. Ledecky falling off of that world record pace, but still right at that US Open record pace. Ladies and gentlemen, final 100 meters for Katie Ledecky, your reigning Olympic champion. How fast will she go? Her US Open record is the second fastest swim of all time. Right now, she's trending towards the third fastest swim in history. Leah Smith also absolutely flying. She's gonna threaten her best time, may just miss it. Final turn for Ledecky. Ledecky splitting a 31, meaning that she is right at that US Open pace, just a little bit behind it now. Katie Ledecky, final few strokes. How fast is this time going to be from Ledecky? How about an 809? 27 from Katie Ledecky. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the seventh fastest 800 freestyle in history. Leah Smith with an 817. 52. And you just saw the two fastest swimmers in the world so far this year in the women's 800 freestyle. Third place in 822.36 from Bella Sims. That's a personal best time for her as well. Fourth place, Katie Grimes at an 822.73. And then fifth place, Claire Weinstein with an 829.34, a best time for her by over three seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for all of our 800 freestylers.
So Fink comes in with the top personal best in this field of 1439.65, just hundreds away from the American record established by Connor Yeager in 2016 at the Rio Olympic Games of 1439.48. All right, so through the first 175 meters here, Bobby Fink establishing himself early on as the primary contender to win this event. No surprise there. As Fink will go through the 200 with a 154.35. Pretty similar pacing here. Jaeger was out in the 55-55 on his way to setting the American record. Second, Alec Enyard of Tsunami at 156.76. And third, Tyler Watson of Florida with a 56.83. The FINA A standard for the men's 1500 meter freestyle is a 1504.64. And Charlie Clark has been under that back in August of 2021, establishing his personal best of 1504.37. He is the only other swimmer in this field to have been faster than the FINA A cut of 1504 in the men's 1500, besides Bobby Fink. Fink coming off the NCAA championships, where he won the 1650 for Florida. Already looking stronger here, this version of Fink out and a 253-1 at the 300. Leading Enyart of Tsunami from lane two, continuing to put together a great performance. The 18-year-old out of Kansas City comes in with a Alec Enyard is a Texas commit here. Who ranks number 41 all time in the 17 18 age group for the 1500 meter freestyle. Think through the 400 in a very strong 351.92. That's two seconds under American record pace as Jaeger was a 353.15. Van de Kay, when he set the U.S. Open record, was a 354.42. Now Charlie Clark of Ohio State has moved into second place from lane five, and you're in third. Fourth place, David Johnson of Texas in lane six. Second is over 500 for Fink, a 450.78. 29 fours for that last 100. Now things starting to heat up here in the race behind Fink with Johnston moving into third ahead of Enyard. Watch out for Tyler Watson at lane one, currently in fifth place. Challenging Gallant of NC State from lane three. 29-4 there from Fink. The 600 split at the American record was a 551.53. So Fink certainly on his way to being better than that. 554.07 from Vanderkay for the U.S. Open record. 
That was done at the 2008 Olympic Trials in Omaha. Twenty-nine five there from Fink and a 549.77, continuing to lead the American record splits by nearly two seconds. Charlie Clark coming off a great NCAAs for Ohio State. We saw Clark and Fink battle here at the 2021 U.S. Open where Clark led the majority of the race, only to have Bobby Fink race him down in the final 50 meters to take the victory. They were 1-2 the 2021 U.S. Open here in Greensboro. Fink now in the 700, approaching the halfway mark. That's a 6.48.68. Now a full two seconds under American record pace as Bobby Fink is putting on a show here in Greensboro on night one of competition. One from Bobby Fink. That is a great time in the 800 meter freestyle. And Fink here with 700 remaining, continuing to just chop away at a potential American record swim with Charlie Clark at second at 755.31. Third, David Johnson at 759.96. We haven't seen any lead changes behind Fink since the 600 when Will Gallant moved into fifth place. The Olympic Trials in Omaha, 2021, Fink was a 14.46.06. Charlie Clark was fifth in that race with a 15.14.11, followed by Gallant, Johnson, and Gravely. So half of the Olympic Trial final featured here in this race tonight. See the thousand meter split here from Fink. And only he knows what his plan was together with Coach Nesty coming into this race about challenging the American record or not. But he's doing something historic here this evening, turning at 946.56, still leading the American record by three tenths of a second. Charlie Clark at 953.70, also putting together a tremendous swim here as Clark looks to break the 15-minute mark for the first time in his career. Looking at the all-time rankings for American men, there's only been 13 swimmers to break that 15-second barrier. Led by Connor Yeager's American record, 1439.4. Bobby Fink, Jordan Wilamowski, Larson Jensen, Peter Vandergay, Eric Bent, Zane Grothy, Andrew Gemmel, Chad Latourette, Michael McGrath. American distance freestyle success that has broken that 15-minute mark in 